Hey everyone, this is Taylor Green with Custom Cloud Dev, and today I'm going to walk through using a screen flow that has dynamic fields, such as if you want one flow screen, but you want to see multiple fields, or based on triggering events or values being in other fields, um, we'll be able to conditionally display or hide fields in the flow. So um, something pretty simple but helpful to keep in mind when making a screen flow. So uh, we can go ahead and take a look here now. First steps that we need to do is uh, open Flow Builder, select a new flow, and a screen flow, and we'll do free form. So I'm going to do a speed run of a example here. So let's just say test dynamic screen. Um, so we'll add some fields here. Uh, let's do text field. I'm going to do another text field. I'm going to do a toggle. I'm going to do another toggle, um, a display text. Okay, let's just go with that for a simple example. So this will be like input A. Um, we'll name this toggle show input B. Let's give it API names. Um, and then we'll say this is going to be input B, and this one we'll say um, hide input A and show display text. Okay, and display text will be showing because toggle is true. Okay, just give it API names. So we have a flow screen here, and this is typically what you would have, just a variation of some of these components. So um, right now it's just like a jumbled mess, but let's clean it up. So um, what we can do is say, uh, we'll start with this B. So we have this inactive value here on this toggle, and it's asking show input B. So what I'll do is say, um, this field uh, select uh, set component visibility I'll say and, and then we'll say, uh, sorry, not input B, I'm looking for that toggle. That toggle's uh, value equals true. So we have one condition, and it's just saying, if this is true, then show B. So B should be hidden by default if this isn't checked. Um, let's see what else, hide input A and show display text. Okay, so we'll say input A, I'll go to that set component visibility, um, we'll use an AND condition just because it's one, and it can only show itself when um, this toggle is true. So let's find that toggle. Um, let's see. Do, do, input, input, display, show input B. Let me see what this API name was. Oh, that's why I can't find it. So let's just call it toggle 2. Not the best naming conventions. Okay, so I go back here, and so we have toggle two value um, if it's false. So when it gets selected to true, input A will disappear. Um, and then we'll do the opposite with uh, this display text. We'll say, and um, toggle two value, this one is going to be uh, if it's true. Okay, so let's go ahead and say uh, test flow conditional visibility. Okay, go ahead and connect that. And uh, let's debug it just so we can see the results. Okay, so um, right now you see we see uh, show input B, um, hide input A. So I have one reversed because input A should be visible. So let's just try what we have. Show input B, if I select active, now input B is showing. If I uncheck it, input B is gone, just like that. Hide input A, so I believe that's in reverse. So this is actually going to be show input A and show display text. Okay, so we're showing the display text. 
Um, let's go and just look and see what's going on with input A, just, just so we know. So input A, input A, um, input A should be showing by default, and, or should not be showing by default, but when we select toggle 2, ah, uh, there it is. So when toggle 2 is true, um, when toggle 2 is false, actually, okay. So let's try that again. Toggle 2 is false. defaulted to false. And here we go. Input A. Um, hide input A and show display text. Click that. Input A is gone. Um, and the display text is here. I do this. Input A is back. Show B. B is here. So just some cool ways you can really take advantage of your flow screens and really update the UI. Um, usually clients want to see a very nice and slick UI and sometimes some of these visibility tricks and just uh, um, conditional visibility dynamic pieces of Salesforce help get that accomplished. So I hope this is helpful. Um, you can see more information or reach out to me at customcloud.dev um, or just leave a comment. Thank you.